Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Clicks. Uh, today we will see how to make a CSS submenu. How to make a submenu in CSS without the help of jQuery. So let's start with the coding part. So the head part, I will be implementing an inline uh, the internal CSS. Let's say CSS sub menus. So the head part and the body part. Let's save this file on desktop as CSS CSS menu start channel. Right. So what I want to do here is I will create a UL with li and the anchor tag let be menu one so two three four and five uh, let's see its output uh, so this is my menu uh, moving to its styling part I will be embedding uh, the internal style sheet otherwise you have to embed an external style sheet uh, so right now I am embedding the external style sheet I will give uh, the class as menu menus instead to this UL so moving to the now I'm going to like implement the styling part list style none it will just List style none will just like remove this dots in the front of UL and margin zero. So right now it's only the upper part. It is it is in the topmost position. So margin will not work. The padding zero, padding zero will take it to the left hand side. I will do as margin 100 pixels so that it can just have some space from top, bottom, left and right. And now I will be like uh, just give it a style as font family Arial, and the font size is 13 pixel so uh, menu and now I'm going to do as menus uh, so what does it mean it means that the class uh, the tag that has uh, the menus class assigned to it uh, in in that particular class all the li that are presented uh, that are written in that particular menu uh, menus in that particular tag that all allies li are going to refer so it will select all li that is placed inside this menu tag so all LI. so now i'm going to do it as float left so it has been assigned to float left so moving to the next part i will just um, will give a menus means this uh, ul uh, then li all the li in that particular class and in that particular in all particular li all the anchor tag so i am referring to all the anchor tag in this li tag under ul class menu so here I am going to give as background color red. So background color is red. Color white. So color is white. Then uh, by default the anchor tag is having a line in between. So text decoration will be none. So text decoration is none. now uh, it will be text decoration none so uh, now i'm going to give its padding part so padding is 10 pixel so 10 pixel padding so this is a padding padding is basically the space between your text and the border part so this is your text and this is your border part so between this text and border part uh, it's the area of padding so padding 10 pixel i will put it put it as padding 20 pixel so padding 20 pixel now i'm going to do as border 
solid one pixel in the color so uh, the border has been put over here so border is solid uh, like it's solid you can put it as dotted also uh, it's the dotted one uh, dash there are multiple type of borders you can see it on the website i will or uh, like uh, it's a one pixel you have to go for one pixel or you have to go for two pixel so the color uh, which color you want of border so this is basically uh, the border that i have given to my menu tag so moving to some coding part so menus li a and hover what does it mean it means that in the menus uh, the li tag in li tag the anchor tag in the anchor tag uh, when i'm going to like hover on my anchor tag uh, it will be changing its color to background color like it's uh, let's say blue so when i'm going to hover this its color is being changed to blue right so this is basically the simple menu which I have created in your this CSS. Now let's create its sub menus. So if I have to create a sub menu uh, in this li tag uh, where the anchor tag is being written, after the anchor tag, I will create a new UL over here. So new UL, I will place a li and the anchor tag. Let's say it's menu 1.1. So I will just copy it and uh, I will create three, four, five, five menus over here. So 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1 and 1.5. So here the all menus come. So it is right now it's coming in the horizontal part. What I'm going to do here is in the menus, uh, menus means ally. Uh, in menus, all the ally and in all the li all the ul tags uh, let's say it's let style is none so right now the circle which was being present over here that has been gone margin zero and the parent zero so right now it's become this way then i'm going to refer as menus li ul and li so what does it mean it means this menu uh, under this menu it's this li under every li the ul tag and in every ul tag the li is referring so i am referring to the this this particular part so now i am going to do as float uh, none so float none will uh, make this all the will make all the menus in this vertical part not in horizontal part in the vertical part uh, so like if I want that all the menus should take its own place there is a small fix that I have to implement in my anchor tag the anchor tag which I have been placed in uh, my ally this the menu one anchor, anchor tag uh, to all uh, if I'm going to refer all these anchor tag then I have to like uh, put a code over here as display block so if i'm going to refresh this it will be like uh, the full space of that particular menu has been given uh, after implementing the display block in the anchor tag so uh, as the full space has been like consumed so now i will just put a tag in ul uh, by like uh, display none so from the beginning like every ul that is placed in li tag every ul that is placed in this li tag will not be visible in the starting because i have put its display as none so when i'm going to show this i'm going to show this when menus uh, if i am going to click if I am to hover on menu, uh, means if I am hover on this menus li, menus li, if I'm going to hover, then in that particular li, that particular ul will display as block. Means it will be uh, it will be shown to uh, the user when the person just hover its li over. Uh, 
like hover its cursor over L. So if I'm going to check this is if I'm going to hover this on menu one, then the menu 1.1 means the menu that is being placed in this in the first li is being shown. For example, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy it and in menu two, I'm going to paste here as uh, like if I'm going to write here as two, two, two and two. So if I'm going to refresh this, if I'm going to hover on menu one, the menu one will be displayed. And if I'm going to hover on menu two, the menu two will be displayed. So how it has been happening? It has been happening uh, because of this, because what I, have, what I have written here is that the menu class, in menu class, every ally, every ally, Whenever I am going to hover on any of this ally, any of this ally that is direct children of this menu class, uh, whenever whenever I am going to hover, uh, the UL, the children UL of that particular ally means it's the children UL of this ally, and it's the children URL of this ally. Only that particular UL, uh, UL will be display as block. So whenever I'm going to put my cursor on menu one, the UL which is in between menu, in between menu one and line will only be shown. And if I'm going to put a cursor on menu two, the UL which is being placed in menu two will only be shown because of this greater than sign because it's it's point to the specific ul on which uh, it points to the specific ul after i am putting my cursor on up on its parent l so in this way you can just create a menu uh, with the help of css with the help of display block and I hope you have understand this video. I'm making an, another video in which uh, the menu and sub menu will be created with the help of position absolute and relative. To watch that video, you will also uh, it will also help you in creating that particular that menu also. So do subscribe my channel for all for getting all the latest updates of uh, this. Uh, uh, like CSS, PHP and all the programming languages. Thanks for watching my video.